first tick that you're seeing on the index and uh, looking pretty good. There's a century straight off the back. So whether we we didn't have the IPL finals, but uh, you know <laughs> the market is making up for it with a century right at opening from the Nifty 113 points. The Sensex is up about 400 points, looking pretty good this morning. Uh, M&M is your top gainer, as I said, post earnings. A lot of brokerages have raised their target price and earnings estimates, so two and a half percent higher there. Adani Enterprises is uh, the next one, which is on the gainers list. A lot of heavyweights. Uh, there's uh, IT that has come back, so TCS, Infosys, Wipro. Uh, perhaps valuation is also looking compelling there. So uh, these stocks are up in the green. You have JSW Steel that's up. SBI is up about seven tenths of a percent. HUL. It's you know it's a secular move on the upside. A basket buying if you want to call it that. Um, on the downside, it's only ONGC as we were telling you. There is a big loss this time around. So ONGC is down three percent. Sun Pharma as well is uh, underperforming the market. So down about half a percent. But uh, the losers are really few and far between. The market is on a tear right now, 130 points higher. Uh, remember, we are not too far away from that all-time high. The all-time high is 18,887. We are at 18,640, which means we are barely 1.5% away from all-time highs on the index. The Nifty Bank is at a fresh high and it's taken about 115 trading sessions for the Nifty Bank to get back to its all-time highs. Very, very strong market. Important to see if we hold on to these gains. That's the big question, right? But for now, no taking away from the fact that it is um, you know, a party on the Lal Street, a new highs almost, virtually at new highs, led by a lot of stocks. So HDFC, TCS, Kotak Mahindra Bank, Titan, a lot of heavyweights making their presence felt. Well, that's right, Sonia. It's a good start. Green on the screen. But just to point out a few stocks that are actually taking it on the chin. You have City Union Bank reaction to its numbers. The stock is down closer on 10%. So uh, that one should come up for you on the screen. Greaves caught in as well. That stock's lost closer around 7.5%. The MHAI allegedly has proposed to deregister the company from Frame India Scheme Phase 2. So that explains why Greaves caught in, in fact, is under pressure. It's down closer around 8% on. A couple of other notable losers, Sonia mentioned, Balakrishnan's numbers weren't too great. That stock is down closer on 5%. That's one of the big losers uh, on, uh, you know, on the FNO counters itself. Now down closer on 7%. So clearly, that's taking a hard knock. So a few other names uh, that are moving around. Nucleus Software, the stock is up closer on 18%. I think they came out with a set of numbers. It's seen a big move in this month itself, more than 55%. So Nucleus Software, to kickstart trade, it's up closer around 18%. Uh, odd. Uh, Karnataka Bank, the street has read those numbers positively, so that's one of the top traded counters today. Suzlon Energy as well, stock continues to move from strength to strength. For this month, it's up closer on 25% on a small base. Pyramid Pharma up closer around a percent and a half. And a couple of other notable names, PFC has opened up in the green in reaction to its numbers, while Page Industries got slam dunk in a Friday's trading session, it was down closer on 10%. But Page Industries has opened up in the green with a gain of close to 100%. Actually, it was up 2%. It's given up half of those gains. So the Nifty higher, Prashant, it's going to be a tricky one. Whether or not you take some profits on the table, I think uh, at these levels, 18,650, 18, maybe risk-reward favours to take some money off the table. All right, 120 points higher. Things are looking pretty uh, good, at least at the word go. Uh, Bank Nifty this time at least making a clean new high. Uh, which is, I think, coming at, uh, what, 44.3, uh, uh, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a clean high, 44.305 five now. Um, we got to about 44.330.15 on the uh, Nifty Bank. All right, just a few other names before we move any further. We can have Nucleus up. I mean, you don't see volumes like this at all on a name like Nucleus, but it's there, 17% on volumes. I say, say, Lombard, I mean, when's the last time you've seen uh, this name up 10%? Again, uh, right up there with tremendous volumes. Engineers India is up 3%, 108 in that one. Uh, Karnataka Bank is up uh, 3%, 148. ICICI Pru Life is up uh, 5%, 466. Uh, we got Nagarjuna Construction, uh, NCC, about 3.5% three three higher. Uh, and I can go down, but volumes and uh, Quest Corp and uh, PTC and Repco Home. Repco is up about 7.5%. Uh, but volumes are still kind of obviously a little low for this, uh, this at this point in the day. Clean Science is down about 2%, 1407, 1408 on Clean Science. Uh, I think numbers have been under pressure. ONGC is down a full 4%. And you've got Sun Pharma, which is down 1.5%. Uh, City Union Bank is out, down 8.5%. Balakrishna is down 7.5%. Aurobindo is down 3 Greaves Cotton is down 8 
So, I mean, there is enough activity on the downside as well. Uh, and I'm look, only looking at things with volumes at this point in the day. So, it's pretty active right out of the gates. Uh, no questions. 1,500 stocks are higher, about 500 stocks are lower. So, there's absolutely no doubt which way, uh, you know, the uh, scale is tilted towards. It's on the upside. Uh, very close to new highs on the Nifty as well. The banks, of course, the banks index making a new high in any case.